All right, guys, enter the stars, and we're going to check out the largest standing menhir, the largest standing stone in all of France. And this could be one of the largest standing stones in the world. Now, it's near Dol de Bretagne, which is the Cathedral of St. Samson that we visited in an early video. But I didn't realize was that we were less than a few miles away from that menhir. And uh, so we're going to revisit that now. After this, we're going to try to get revenge on the fish of Dinard because we got skunked last time. So here we are. Uh, we're a few miles away. Can't wait to show you guys this men here. We're going to bang it. We're going to see if there's any resonance going on. We're going to take a very close look at this stone because obviously with the technology they had, when this stone was erected there was no way they could have erected this stone with the technology that they had at that time so what that means is there's something special about this stone and i believe that these stones are erected either by very holy people or by fallen angels to demonstrate their power over mankind so we're going to take a look at this stone now I didn't know exactly where this thing was, but I just saw a sign that said Minhir de Champtolin. And that's what we're looking for, you guys. So I just kind of went with it. And uh, it was like I was just led right into it. Oh, here it is. So we're going to turn left here. Minhir de Champtolin. This ought to be pretty nuts. I wanted to get this uh, the way that I'm seeing it right now. I wanted you guys to be able to see that and you can see it's not very uh, populated out here we're in the countryside I'm in here to chomp the lint okay so whoa look at that Bonjour. Yeah, it's it's the largest uh, largest standing stone in all of France. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys speak English? Right on. So, uh, yeah, this is the largest standing stone in all of France. <laughs> Ninety. Uh, you know, there used to be a cross on the top. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. And they, yeah, pretty amazing, huh? So this is it. Um, it's weird. Every time we uh, see a spot, you get English-speaking people. It's kind of kind of funny, right? So look at this thing. There used to be a cross on the top of this. No resonance really. Just an amazing piece of architecture there. Now it's perfectly pretty amazing. Okay, let's take a look at this. Beautiful. 
day. And of course, this is the excuse that they give as to how this was erected, right? They say that they used pulleys and levers. Oh, this is in English. Dug from a granite quarry four kilometers away. Somehow they believed that this was carried on wheels. Here's the old pictures of it, the cross on it. It says the veneration of these stone giants was probably abandoned down the ages and they were voluntarily demolished around 4000 BC. They were replaced by many fields. The development spread over a long period between 4000 and 2000 BC. That's a long time ago, you guys. So that's the beginning of time. Some were, some were adapted to Christianity. Nine point three meters high, twenty seven feet high, largest standing stone in France. Let's go catch some fish. All right, you guys, let's try this again. <laughs> I got shrimp, I have clams. We're gonna try both. Look at that amazing uh, dam here, dam and a bridge. And uh, that's Dinard there. That's what we're gonna try. So the tide's in. I caught a little tiny fish on the clams, which I'm now using for bait. I'm using the fish as bait. I put them on a somewhat of a bigger hook. Threw it out there as far as I could without throwing the fish off. And now we wait. You see my pole here? Guy came up, was talking to me. Of course, he's speaking French, so I had no idea what he's saying. So we have a about a six inch fish on the line as bait. See if this can make this happen. If this doesn't work, you can see the conditions of the water. It's very choppy, very windy. I'll head back into San Malo Bay and I'll try my hand at the stiller waters. So that was the beach we were at and everything changed, the whole shoreline. Here's the bridge. No depth anymore, so walking this way. All right, I think we found what we're looking for, you guys. Wow, look at all these boats just sitting out here. All we need is a little depth. It's like volcanic rock. There's the dam. There's the beach. Just need some we just need some depth. Go right in here. <laughs> Apparently this tide swings in and out pretty uh, pretty far, so have to be careful we don't get trapped. 